Hey guys, what's Hi. up? Uh, I'm here with Terrence Sims, <laughs> and we're about to bring you Nostum versus Mr. Yagoot on the B stream. What's up, guys? Terrence Sim, it's Jockey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So players have already done bans. Uh, pick their decks. Both players ban Warrior, and looks like Zoo versus Agro Shaman to start. Pretty good start for Mr. Yugit, since he's pretty favorite in this matchup. Yeah, it didn't quite see mulligans, but I think Nostum held on to Lightning Storm, which is probably just a one-of in his build, since, you know, I, I kind of know a little bit about his build, and it is aggro shaman, not mid shaman, so. Yeah, and the Lightning Storm is in the deck, mainly for the matchup against Zoo. Yep, definitely going to be an important card uh, to help him get on board. But honestly, I'd say a pretty solid start for, for Nostum. Yeah. Like, depending on where Juggles go, I suppose. Yeah, Juggles can... It's an unfortunate Juggle. Yep. And probably going to open the door for Nostum to take over the board. And it's going to be really hard for you to get it back with both jugglers down. Yeah, it's looking really good for Nostum from this position. Doesn't even look like he'll need the Lightning Storm right now. Yeah, Storm probably just going to help if Forbidden Ritual ever comes down. Not much to do for you, Goot. I'd probably expect him just to play what he can with the Villager and the Alpha. Just try and contest the board, but uh, pretty weak stuff. Yeah. Topping doesn't help you gain the board that much. I think you need to play both. Yeah, he was probably just looking to pick up another one drop, but that's kind of just wishful thinking. Yeah. And that is a totem golem. <laughs> Pretty ideal minion to get from Tuskar Totemic, don't you think? Seems good. <laughs> yeah, Nasim could have abusive the flame tongue to clear off the first half of the possessed villager, but chose not to do that. And you probably don't need to do that when you're sitting on storm. Like, probably just push as much damage as possible. Yeah. Might even just storm this turn, honestly. Oh, this is a pretty good storm. He's got the bolt to clean up, or he can trade in the abusive or the Tuscar. But yeah, just pushing damage. I mean, you get Shoni has a weak hand. He's taken 12 this turn. It's probably just game. Yeah. And it feels good to go up 1 0 in LHS when you queue your worst matchup to start off. Pretty good stuff. So Yagoot has uh, Druid and, and Shaman. Shaman to try yeah. and beat Aggro Shaman with. Not really sure which of the two he'll go with. I would think Shaman, but... Yeah, I think you just have either. to take the mirror since Druid usually isn't that great against Shamans. Yeah. Oh, he is going to go with Druid, though. That's uh, interesting. I'd expect it yeah. to just be kind of the token list. There's double nourish, and that usually represents the Yogg list, but some yeah. Cthune Druids have started to play double nourish. Oh, it's not a bad opener. Too. If you can pick up something to use the innervate with. The light protects me. Living Roots does contest Argent Squire pretty well. One for ones with it most of the time. You have the hero power to clean up. 
Yeah, not some trades off the Divine Shield there. Pretty much just to play around second roots, I think. Uh, nothing else really punishes you for not trading, but gonna work out since you did have second living roots. He's gonna start ramping. Probably one of the weaker picks, honestly, Power of the Wild is, but yeah. he really just has no action in his hands. Like, taking the Naturalize is really wishful thinking that your opponent would play the 7-7 seven, seven on 4. Uh, yeah, he is quite behind for how nice the first three cards were. Yeah, you really need a good follow-up when you have the Innovate. Yeah. If he can pick up, like, a 5-drop on Curve next turn, maybe he can get back in it, but right now... Especially like the fact that he held back the the living roots, he's just kind of committed to being behind. At least he has the mulch for the eventual yeah. four mana seven seven. Yep, I feel like without that mulch draw, he might have just been too far behind. Yeah. A lot of damage going to be coming in eventually this game. Yeah, with the Dim Hammer. He has so much burst in his hand, but... I mean, it did get a little punished. Essentially, he just lost three damage to face. Yeah. Because Mr. Hugo would make the trade anyway. And a pretty weak turn, but when you have Doom Hammer Double Rock Biter, you can usually afford to have a weak turn or two. Double Mulch is interesting build choice. Yeah, most Yogg Druids don't play Double Mulch. Flame Tongues are really awkward. Um wonder if he's just going to try and get them online this turn, because it's kind of like the best they get, uh, as opposed to going with the Doom Hammer. Because, I mean, when you go to 30, I doubt he can just kill him. Yeah. He's going to need a lot more, so mm -hmm. I like going with the double flame tongue trade and totem. Yeah, I think that's what I like, too. It's tough to get that Twilight Guard in online as well, but... Looks like he just values getting the Doom Hammer charges on. It does start to chip down four damage a turn. Yeah, very few Druid lists are playing Harrison Jones right now, so he kind of knows that's just guaranteed damage. Yeah, the only thing he would have to worry about is Feral Rage or Heal off of Raven Idol are the main forms of life gain outside of Pure Power. Yep. Mark the Wild's not too bad. Can throw it down on your Azure Drake this turn, I suppose. Yeah. Just make a big taunt. He's gonna clear instead, and I think that actually works out uh, better. Though I really don't not like the the Innervate Mark of the Wild. I guess he's gonna save that for next turn and use it yeah. on the Scenarius. It's a bigger body for Taunt. I guess he's. Yeah. Thinking that he can take the damage this turn and tone up later, and he won't get low enough where he gets burned out of the game. So having yeah. the bigger body taunt. And honestly, it's going to work out. I mean, out. I don't see a way Nasum's going to break through a 7 10 taunt and the additional 2 2 taunts. I think he was prepared for the scenarios to come down, but not Innervate Mark of the Wild. Not really something you play around. Yeah, you can't be prepared for the random spells from Raven Idol, and most Druids don't play 
the Mark of the Wild? He can clear, uh, thanks to Lava Burst. He could have done it without it, but then he'd be taking like 14 to his face. <laughs> so that would not be good. So honestly, not uh, not quite out of it. Oh, Lava Burst is a huge draw. Taunt Totem also really good here. Well, um, I mean, I feel like Yogg is pretty good here, because I feel like if you swipe, you're kind of just giving your opponent another turn to develop, just okay. delaying it. You're going to have to play Yogg eventually. And the one extra random spell won't have too big of an impact. Yeah, just kind of have to hope it clears stuff. I'm pretty sure it's like a favorable spot for Yogg here, but... So you're just gonna play both of them? Okay, so he's charging it up all the way. Uh, but this also just kind of gives Nostum a free random minion, which is probably gonna be pretty valuable. Ends up being better than the just 2-6. Yeah. wonder if uh, Nostum is going to just totem. I think I'd rather play the Tunnel Draw. Since it, like, Wow, he's actually just getting in all the damage right now, which is I mean, interesting. He did power up the Yogg, so it makes it more likely that if the Yogg goes poorly for him, it could like potentially oh, like, it kill could, you. It could also freeze face is an interesting uh, thing to note. Well, Yagut has some action to do because his intern isn't green. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> That's good, but... The Wrath's okay. Oh, right. He's got the prep, so yeah. he can use any spell. Yeah, the Wrath is definitely good here. Just needs to, you know, not go disastrous in these last few moments, which it's not, so... Gets the board clear. Wow. Wow. That's huge. Well, <laughs> well... <laughs> this heals face. Yeah. Well, <laughs> uh, Let's say that was a pretty good yog. That's a way to win a game. <laughs> yeah. Mean, we said that the druid was on favorite, but when you have yogs like that. Yeah, I mean, I think the last few spells weren't really necessary for him to win, but yeah. it was. I think after the ice block and clearing yeah. the board, the game was pretty much decided. Yeah, Nostrum was completely out of stuff, so. Pretty good stuff. We'll have to see what Nossum counters Druid with. He has Mage and Warlock. He's going to go with Warlock. Which I think is interesting because... I don't know. I mean, assuming it's Freeze Mage, like, Yigu has Druid and Shaman left. Yeah. And so Freeze Mage isn't as favored against Shaman. Uh, whereas Warlock, if it's Zoo, is. So I think I would have liked, liked the opposite Q order here. Even yeah. if it's a slightly worse matchup right now. I mean, the Druid's just the best matchup that the Mage is going to get, assuming it's Freeze Mage. Yep. And even though Druid does have the options of Pharaoh Aging, which we, we're not sure that you get playing. He's playing Double Mulch, mm -hmm. so he could be cutting the uh, Pharaoh Age and heal from Raven Idol. It's a pretty good matchup for the Freeze outside of those cards. Not a bad start for Yigud again, though. Picked up Innervate. Shifter, Zerus, Void, Walker, and uh, Mortal Coil are the three options. Yeah, I like how they're in uh, in German. <laughs> you get the, the Leer Wandler. Yeah, that's a like 
think for a second as to like what void that card actually is. Yeah, it's kind of an, an interesting choice. Uh, it goes with the coil, and I guess he's thinking that you might value trade into the peddler, into the peddler, and then yeah. he can pick up the value off the coil. Which I don't dislike. I do like, you know, that he's going face and forcing yeah. action onto you, Goot. Do you like just playing down the Fangel here, tr value trading with the Peddler? Seems okay to me. Yeah. Um, you're threatening a lot with that Nourish in hand. I guess you might even... I don't know. You could uh, just trade just into trade the Flame, into the flame Imp, Try to protect that Fangel as much as possible. If it goes off, you just win. Yeah. Usually there's not that many things that do one that wouldn't do two, but mm -hmm. in this case there's the mortal coil. Yeah, so this is actually makes the coil pick up even more important. Not sure if that was something he was thinking about, but it ends up working out really well. Yeah, just going to go with Ritual. Not huge value, but kind of better next turn with Voidwalker, Imp Gang Boss. It's a lot better to just get the two now instead of getting just the Void Walker or the tap and then having an awkward turn next turn. Yeah. We're just playing M Gang Boss. So I would definitely imagine we're gonna see Swipe come out. Probably just take Living Roots off of this. Yeah. Definitely don't really need another Raven Idol. <laughs> <laughs> you can even get Raven Idol. Oh, jeez. He actually took it. <laughs> <laughs> I and mean, what's he looking for since he I don't took know. the second Raven Idol? Like, Maybe more swipes? I, I guess he just wants to like let the board develop before he makes a what? choice. So, like, if your opponent rituals again, you can just dig for another swipe if he... Or you can even get a starfall. Yeah. But kind of just now he knows the situation a little better. I think I still would have favored just roots uh, and having a play alongside the nourish for sure. Yeah. Like, if Nasum were to have played, like, a, a juggler plus a minion and juggled down your 3-1, then you'd have the, the roots to kill it. Get that. No, Storm picked up the one drop. Yeah. Out the curve. Yep. I think it was a little bit of a risk to not just play Defender Vargas, but it panned out well. Mage of War probably coming down this turn. Yeah. I'm not seeing much better than that. He could just. Living Roots clear. and Claw. Yeah. And. 3-2-2. Two, two. I, I guess he could just clear everything if he wanted to. Oh, mulch. Yeah, but with Raven Idol, that says that he's not going to do that. I don't know. He kind of has Nosm in a really weird spot now where he just can't stick anything. Yeah. <laughs> well, that is uh, an interesting mulch card. Card's gonna it's probably be surprising for him to get later. I don't think he'll play around well, the Deathwing. Doesn't Deathwing doesn't really play <laughs> nice with Soulfire, but yeah, I don't know. Depending on how the game goes, like Nasta might just hold out and Deathwing him. That is an okay answer to Yogg-Saron. Pretty good. And the. Uh, Mulch has been used, so... Yeah. Well, one of them. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's two in this yep. one. Well, you can just kind of dump his hand and stick a 510 on the board. He didn't play it last turn, though. So, I don't know. Doesn't feel threatened by the 3-3, so yeah. chooses not to wrath it. 
Yeah, I think you'd feel a little more threatened if it was six power on board instead of five, because then like a power of roaming or a soul fire gets the job done, but yeah. this way it's not nearly as big of a deal. Awesome has a decently clean answer though, and then he can 50-50 the, the Deathwing discard. Yeah. My seal for Argus. And if you miss, obviously you just fill out your curve, but So it looks like yeah. just Deathwing. The uh, villager is still green. Well, might be another Yogg game. Have to see when he chooses to play it, though. Last game he was pretty, you know, greedy, wanted to get the extra spells. I feel like... Yeah. I guess not the same way this game. Just going for it now. He has played a lot of spells. He played Triple Raven Idol this game. Yeah, he's played a lot of spells. This is very likely to clear. It's a good spell. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty it's good yogs so here. far. Oh, the synergy! <laughs> Jeez. I, I didn't even see how the defender of Argus snuck into his hand, but yeah, these are these are very nice yogs. <laughs> even some overkill. Well. Nossum's going to be on Mage to have to win two games in a row. Yeah. It's definitely rough. The Druid's not too bad, but it's definitely going to have a hard time against the Shaman. Yeah, it could be mid Shaman, though. But yeah. uh, it could also be Concede Shaman. JJ oh, did we've, bring it we've out. seen so far every Shaman has been <laughs> Concede Shaman in this tournament. One out of one. But yeah, just going to be Freeze Mage for Nostum. So I guess you get thinking about maybe coining wild growth. Doesn't make much sense, but then you could yeah. go like roots wild growth next turn. But just playing the roots on turn one, contest loot hoarder, contest novice engineer. Yeah. So does playing the roots mean that he kind of has a read on it being freeze mage? Because if you thought it was tempo mage, you'd usually want to save it for the three twos. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that. Even if it was tempo, you don't really get that punish. But uh, yeah. yeah, I think he definitely had a read that it's probably freeze. Seems to be in the more popular deck choice at the moment. Well, Alex is an important pickup potentially. But Nasum is going to have to answer a lot of threats because you got the double ramp off. But he's got the uh, the Alex and the burn to get there if he can survive. Yeah. Pay attention, class. Fireball will probably be used as yeah. a move one. Yeah, it's pretty tough to disrespect a, a teacher, but maybe you can do it. I don't know. Yeah. Odds are he probably picks up more burn uh, later in the game. The rage of the fire even more, more ramp. ramp. <laughs> awesome is still quite a few turns off of like Blizzard Doomsayer, but does pick up Frost Nova, so yeah. pretty easy play. Now he just needs to dodge a mulch or seven damage. Yeah, yeah, that's, well, that's there it seven is. damage. <laughs> hmm. 
even gets the one ones because of Fandrel. Yep. So pretty rough spot, as opposed to if the Doomsayer went off. Yeah. But he's gonna be able to take care of everything. I guess he's just identifying that he gets down to one card. Odds are he's probably gonna run out of stuff pretty soon. And you probably don't need all the burn. Uh, Blizzard Ice Lance is just too clean, I think, to, to not use it. So now Yugit's mainly just looking for Nourish and Awesome's probably just looking to continue clearing since he doesn't really have a burnout right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested by the choice of Nasum not to develop the block he drew instead. I mean, the only thing I think you're really drawing towards is Alex, which you already have, so I kind of like just getting the block down before your Alex turn. That way, I mean, at 26, you're pretty safe anyway, yeah. but I think the Doomsayer here is pretty solid, though. Uh, your opponent's seen three new cards since last Doomsayer. Uh, if he if he mulches, which now like is his only answer since Nasum Ice Lanced, then he has no mulch for the Alex Reza. for the Alex. Yeah, so that's kind of the plan here. Yeah, he's definitely going with the mulch since he's playing the Ancient of War. It's not gonna uproot it. <laughs> Never lucky. Ice Ray Drift. New card. <laughs> Yeah, definitely just develop Alex now. Yeah, an, an 8 8 alone is just pretty tough for Druid to deal with. Already down a mulch, already down a swipe. I guess Wrath would, would let him do it, but then he's really not pushing. Second mulch second is mulch basically is. perfect. The second mulch has been pretty good and for you, good in <laughs> all of these games. <laughs> yeah. Well, Rag Light Lord is really good. Yeah. That is pretty insane. It's probably going to heal for like 16 since it also has to be dealt with. And now you know there's no mulches. There's still Raven Idols. Oh, true. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's pretty good. And he doesn't have the burn to get the job done yet. He's down both Ice Senses and a Fireball as well. But he's not really under tremendous pressure. Yagoot pretty much has to clear this. Like you, you certainly have to clear it, but it's such an awkward clear. You can't use your face. You're playing against Freeze Mage. Oh, I guess it's not actually that awkward with the uh, Savage Roar power. Yeah. So he gets to ship some to face as well. But he's still kind of just running out of stuff at this point. The Blizzard's pretty good here for Nostan. Lets him get more time to get to his burn. Finish yeah. Finish out the game. Awesome still doesn't have the block down, so if he board freezes, he doesn't really have to get it down, but it's kind of nice to just get it out while you can. I don't mind, like, Blizzard, Frostbolt, maybe even Face, uh, ping the taunt and, like, push your two damage with the loot order. You can either Frostbolt Face or the Azure Drake. Puts him to 13. I mean, you only have six in hand at that point. Yeah. He's using a lot of burn on minions, but he's hoping that he can just run Yugu out of stuff. Of course, Yogg-Saron kind of foils that a bit. Yeah. And it's not a clear on the Scenarius, but Flame Strike plus something is a pretty obvious turn here. Yeah, probably get the Ice Block. I don't know. Oh, um, maybe Ice Rager? Yeah, he still doesn't really need the block. <laughs> Ice Rager is like the most powerful card, but the Acolyte lets him cycle, and it like threatens that you can ping it to cycle. And this is probably just Yogg, yeah. Finally, Yugut's in turn button is green. So we know the game didn't end. Wow. That's pretty lucky. That's good. That too. is pretty Pointless. insane. Now this went on a minion. <laughs> oh. 
Well, if he kills off... Yeah, so he killed off the minion with the power and glory, I think. Yeah. So not going to have that healing, which is kind of a sigh of relief for Nossum. Not as insane as the Yogs have been the past games. Yeah, that Yogg was a lot more tame. <laughs> but it's still a really weird game because Nossum's out of Blizzard. He's out of Flame Strike, assuming he only runs one. Uh, he has one Nova. Yeah, and like that, no Doom to go with it. So he's kind of just on the back of what he has right now to win the game. And so you kind of see him switch from developing minions, just firing burn. Uh, he has a lot of time, but it's still pretty, pretty difficult for him to get the the job done. I mean, one of the fireballs off of the torches, or the he has yeah. one fireball left yeah. outside of those. And to Power Blast, yep, that could be a lot it. of burn in the deck. He's got 10 cards, so assuming he runs Pyro and two Fireballs, that means the four of those cards are just raw burn damage. And he's got quite a bit of draw to dig for them, so... I don't think he can end the game this turn, but he should be able to survive and try to find the burn. Yeah. Right now, his deck is like a second ice block, a bunch of draw, and burn. Would you just play the loot hoarder and novice? Because yeah, you know, the Thanos yeah. plus two other yeah, fireballs exactly. in deck. Yeah, exactly. He's thinking about like you know if the ping matters, but I like you just said, I don't think it does because you've got the spell power. Yeah. But he goes for the ping. The only reason I really don't like this is like. If you have to dig for second ice block, you're essentially down two mana next turn. Yeah, it doesn't allow the four mana fireball to do it. So you go Raven Idols, finds Bite for four health. I have to assume that's the pick here. Yeah. And so that'll be 17 health. So maybe the ping might come into play. He definitely pops this turn, and like that is scary for Nostum. Um, so how he pops is interesting, but he can pop and clear the loot hoarder. It's not really a challenge. Also, also I think there might be a Frostbolt in Nostum's deck, so... The burn is in there, and the second block is in there. It's just a matter of if you can find those in the right order. Let's pop that too, so Frost Nova yeah, blows him a turn here. Would work. I don't think there was a way for Yugu to do that better. Well, Fireball off the top would be lethal. Block's pretty darn good, though. Yeah, probably start with the novice. Well, I don't mind starting with block yeah, because you know that block has anyway. to happen. Yeah. Uh, and it looks like he's just firing off full burn. And that means he's going to put himself on pyro off the top to win. So that's yeah. kind of why this play makes sense. Ooh, whoa. That's Not pretty critical that mistake yeah. there. Uh, you you did Miles not put him to the one, turn again. and there's a Frost Nova in the deck, so... Fireball yeah. off the top, gets the gets job it. done. Nossum had five cards there at the end, so two of his top decks were just wins. Yeah, Frost Nova uh, on a had, turn, so that's He had three. Novice Engineer into... Oh, and Frostbolt was actually... No, he was at six, so... Yeah. yeah. That was an interesting game. Uh, I think Nasa might have like been too risk averse and put himself on draws to win rather yeah. than like. It seemed like he was really favored, and then at the end it was kind of shaky. But uh, pretty solid stuff overall. For Doomhammer. So now the only question left is if Freeze Mage can beat Shaman, which is probably Aggro Shaman based yeah. off what we've seen. He's got some good cards to do it. 
you didn't see the mulligan there, but no storm cap, uh, doomsayer, ice barrier, and frost nova. Yeah, so I think uh, doom hammer is going to be the main card that Nos will be really unhappy to see, but he kind of has a hand that can can get there still. I'm a little surprised he doesn't just go with doomsayer here. Uh, it just stunt all the development from Yagoot. I usually like to go with the Doom Sawyer on two. And the other thing is, like, I'm, I'm a little curious about Yugu trading there. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't make too much sense to me. Like, you're protecting your totem. I guess he has Flame Tongue, so maybe he's looking to play that next turn. Could be the case. But I think Nossum's kind of committed to Doom Sawyer Frost Nova now. Yeah. That's his use of Doom Sawyer. He goes with draw instead of the barrier, so I'm not too concerned about his life quite yet. Well, Finley is a great card in this matchup. Uh, it makes your things from below worse, but uh, it's going to let him probably pick up a much better hero power. He's going to save it, though. And I honestly don't mind this because this just yeah. pushes just out the max flame tongue damage you're ever gonna get. Get the four damage in now. Yeah, so pretty obvious Frost Nova Doomsayer. There's actually a response uh, in Yugu's hand. He's got Argent Horse Rider Rock Biter. So another thing that he kind of set up for here. Yeah, fits in the Finley too. Yep, so pretty smart play from Yugu here, saving. The, uh, the Argent Horse Rider and getting the Flame Tongue down. And this looks like Shape Shift every time to me. Yeah. yeah. Don't worry, love. Not really Don't trying worry. to like survive the Freezes Burst with Warrior Hero Power, trying to just kill him. So a second Frost Nova would be a really deadly pickup for Nostum, but... Not going to find that, so he's kind of just on the stall until Blizzards can come into play plan. Possible with the flame tongue since it represents the most damage on board. Yep. But this is when Doomhammer gets online. And it's coming with the tunnel drog, most likely. Could just go with abusive, uh, make sure he gets in the damage immediately. Didn't really do the math on if that's going to matter. Job done. Goes down to 19, pushing six a turn at least. Yeah, it's looking pretty bad for Nostum. No block up. Of course, he will be able to clear out the board. Oh, that is not a clear board anymore. Yeah. Totem Golem will stick around. I just have a hard time seeing how Nasum is going to get the counter pressure here. He's pretty much going to have to Alex himself at some point, which involves drawing Alex at some point. Yeah. Or even just getting to Alex or any staking six and then still an extra turn. Yeah. He's even going to just Ice Land's face to save six health, which is kind of necessary at this point. Yeah. But I, I don't really know what he can draw besides like second Frost Nova. Because the board is also a significant threat. Got the Alex. Yeah, so. Alex is really good. Um, Probably have to Frostbolt face. Yeah, Frostbolting face makes the most sense because it saves you six health, but maybe you have to take a risk. Um, uh, so I, it like reduces the damage you're yeah, taking it into think, the Alex? Yeah, it's pretty obvious that Doomsayer uh, is in here somehow. I, oh wow, he just missed a damage. Yeah, I was about to say I was surprised he didn't want to play Blood Mage, but uh, just miss point of damage here, and I don't believe that's lethal, so it's only... Oh, it is lethal actually, uh, because of the yeah, Tunnel Drug buff. Five damage, yep. Lightning Bolt. So it's 14, one over, and that's gonna end the series. Three, two in Yagoot's favor. The 
pretty good series. Some pretty crazy yogs from you yeah. get it. Uh, I think you know biggest biggest thing might just have been the way uh, an awesome chose Q is decks, but yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely some good yogs. Got to see the full lineup for both players. Pretty close match, and uh, that's gonna make Mister Yagut versus RDU the winners match of this group, and Nostum versus Zelay the losers match later. Yeah. So yeah. Pretty good stuff. Uh, not quite sure when we get cut off here. <laughs> but, uh, Just going to sit here awkwardly. Yep. Hope you guys enjoyed that match on our nice little humble B stream here. Oh. Got a nice tavern behind us. Got the, the nice keyboards in the tavern. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's fun. Yeah. Seems good. <laughs> this is truly where we just awkwardly sit <laughs> here. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I believe we just got the uh, the go-ahead on the outro. So we will see you guys in a bit for probably the winner's match, which would be RDU versus Mr. Yagut. So stick around, guys, for more.